I'm your state capitol reporter, Alana Johnson, outside of the Michigan Department of Corrections. You might have heard of pensions no longer being introduced in many industries, but have you heard of pensions possibly coming back? It's an idea that state legislators are considering to help retain and recruit more prison guards. Shayna Fisher worked in prisons across mid-Michigan for over 27 years. She started work before the state removed the pension plan for correctional officers. Probably would not have made it five years had I not had that pension to look forward to. And that is definitely what kept me in my job. Now new correctional officers are offered a 401k plan for retirement. But bringing back the pension is one idea to help with staffing issues at the Michigan Department of Corrections. According to the MDOC, more than one in six positions statewide are vacant, and the Cotton Correctional Facility in Jackson County has more than one in three positions open. The state Senate passed bills that would bring back a pension for prison guards across the state. Everyone I've spoken with has told me that giving access to the state police pension fund is a big part of the solution to address both hiring and retention issues and will serve as a huge morale boost for Michigan's corrections workers. But some lawmakers say that adding employees to the pension system would hurt the state's finances. In 2023-2024 fiscal year alone, our state spent $229 million dollars on the corrections budget on legacy costs alone. This is for a plan that was closed 27 years ago. We need to know the extent of these costs in order to make just better decisions moving forward. The state Senate fiscal agency says the changes would cost an additional $18 million per year. And the future of pensions funding would depend on factors like the stock market. But Fisher has a message for lawmakers still deciding on the issue. Give those people something to hang on to, something to look forward to. The bills have been referred to the House Committee of Labor. In Lansing, Alana Johnson, Fox 47 News.